You know what I just did? I walked out that door, saw a couple of detectives, and I was just about to start bad mounting you behind your back. Then I stopped myself. Because my pops told me a man who talks behind somebody's back is a coward. Wow, I really appreciate that. Good, because I'm going to tear you directly in your face. No, no, no. You no, don't I don't like you. I think you're a fake cop. The sound of your piss hitting the urinal sounds feminine. If we were in the wild, I would attack you. Yeah? Even if you weren't in my food chain, I'd go out of my way to attack you. If I were a lion and you were a tuna, I'd swim in the middle of the ocean and fucking eat you. And then I'd bang your tuna girlfriend. Yeah? So tell me why this company is in the crapper. I'm not in the crapper. It's a recession. We're still profitable. Bullshit. Look, I know you and my dad were pals, yeah? Frankly, I find it weird and gay. I never understood why he, why, why he thought you so great. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. He's in the ground and I'm in charge. Yeah, so there'll be some changes around here. First of all, what, what, what is this environmental waste management shit that we're paying so much for? Your father made a decision to pay a little more to dispose of our chemical waste responsibly. Yeah, yeah, fuck that, fuck that. We've got an offer from Bolivia to dump the stuff for third the cost. thousand dollars in that bag. How the fuck do you know what's in the bag? I... I counted it. Yeah? Yeah. You counted it? Yeah. What do you mean you counted it? It's none of your fucking business. It's none of my business. What's in my house, whatever the fuck it is, becomes my business, Joe. I want that fucking bag, Maggie. FBI men, do not walk around with $300,000 in a bag. Joe, you could go to jail for this. The fuck? Nobody's going to jail. Nobody's going to jail? Did you think about your children for a second? Did you stop and think? You know, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't... First of all, because the bag belongs to somebody have else. I no And blood was coming from his mouth. He was gargling, trying to say something, but I couldn't hear him because of all the noise. So I just squeezed his hand and I said, it's all right, Tommy, I'm not gonna leave you. And we looked at each other and it was like when we were young and we were trying to work out what the other person was thinking. It was like the past 10 years of our friendship was in that moment.